Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. From the Mars rover to your mobile phone, today's guest has created components for both and everything in between. Radio frequency and millimeter wave solutions are key pieces of today's technical equipment and products. And boasting the industry's largest in-house technology portfolio, TriQuint Semiconductor has brought these solutions to the worldwide market since 1985. James Klein, Vice President of Infrastructure and Defense Products at TriQuint, joins me today in the studio. Welcome, James. Thanks. It's great to be here. James, what are the major challenges facing the industries you serve regarding RF components? Our RF, or radio frequency components, are responsible for moving data around the world. Imagine billions of devices all connected to the network, whether it be a cell phone, a fighter aircraft, or a cellular base station. Our challenge as an industry is to develop products that both increase performance and lower the cost of our customer systems. Hmm. So how is TriQuint addressing these challenges then? We've got a great model as a company. We leverage our defense business to be able to continually push the state of the art. We then use our network's infrastructure business as sort of a first adopter of the technology in the commercial space, and eventually it ends up in our high volume consumer products like your cell phone. We then take the benefit of all that volume and we leverage it across all three of the business spaces. That sounds really interesting. Well, let's learn a little bit more about RF and TriQuint's industry offerings in this 21st Century Business Field Report. In a culture that is dominated by tech news that focuses on the latest tablet or mobile device, it's not surprising that core technologies such as RF get token attention, even if such technologies are driving the future of communications. RF winds up being really in all electronics. It's high enough in frequency that it allows more uh, energy and more data information to be carried, and data is really uh, the, the most important thing in the electronic industry these days. So RF components are finding their way really in anything wireless uh, or as we call it, wired, uh, so something that travels uh, on a cable of some sort uh, is all really enabled by those wireless components. As the need for RF-enabled high-tech and everyday devices continues to grow, TriQuint is perfectly positioned to maintain their role as the market leader. TriQuint is known for its technology. We've been providing high-performance technology solutions over the years, and we've been transforming these solutions into end products. Customers see value in the, this technology, and we've been using this technology into providing very high-performance, highly integrated solutions for our customers. TriQuint's technological achievements and market position in the RF industry are a direct result of the dedication and innovation of their highly talented employees. About two months ago, we did an internal survey on our supplier from our inside sales team, our sales team, FA team, and the manager team. And then we measure on many different aspects like the quality of the product, the pricing, the delivery, the term, and especially the performance and the relationship from local to corporate. And then you know what? The TriQuin wins the best. That's one of the reasons why TriQuin and the Richardson IPD, we are doing very well in designing and win more business in China and Taiwan. Making the RF building blocks that help networks transport more data while using less energy and reaching further distances at faster speeds, TriQuint is a key company driving the next generation of communications infrastructure. So James, what are the current trends driving the communications industry? Like most electronics industry, it's really all about more performance, less cost. So we're doing that with advanced technology and higher levels of integration. Hmm. And what role does TriQuint play in wireless communications? So we've got a broad set of products that address the market in both wireless and broadband. Uh, mobile devices is, is a, certainly a large business for us. We're also in the network infrastructure business as well as the defense business. Mm -hmm. um, you can really think about what we do is we basically amplify the signal um, and we also clean up the signal with our filter technology. Mm -hmm. And all that is done with the semiconductors themselves. Absolutely. Interesting. Can you explain a little more about how the world actually passes data from one device to another? 
So in basic terms, the devices communicate by sending a signal from one end to the other. So think about your cell phone. Mm -hmm. Your cell phone will transmit out of what we would call a power amplifier from the cell phone to a base station tower. Mm -hmm. It would then receive it uh, with another amplifier, and then most people use a filter to clean up the signal. Okay, and if I have just one little tiny bar instead of five, that means the signal is? Not as strong. Not as strong. Not and as so strong. Mm -hmm. So more amplification, it gets you a stronger signal. Okay, so maybe my phone needs better semiconductors then. It could, absolutely. <laughs> Triquent semiconductors. <laughs> what kinds of customers do you actually serve? And, and what significant customer wins have you had recently? So we, so we service a broad range of customers in those marketplaces. I, you know, our big wins are servicing the LTE rollout around the world. So your new cell phone has LTE mode, and that's certainly a big driver for us. Our products have been selected for the next generation of fiber networks that are being uh, put in again around the world. Wow. And, and we're a strong leader in the defense radar business, so we service most of those radars. In the defense radar business, in, in what way? Um, predominantly fighter aircraft is our largest business, so we supply the components for the fighter aircraft uh, radar. We like to think of ourselves as sort of the eyes of the aircraft. That is amazing and fascinating. What would you say makes TriQuint unique, James? Is it its longevity in this industry? It's really our ability to invent new technologies and then move them very quickly into the commercial space. So we are successful in that in really two ways. First, our partnership in the defense industry allows us to continue to innovate and really be state of the art. Secondly, it's our ability with our internal factories to move that technology into the commercial market very rapidly. Mm -hmm. um, it allows us to productize that uh, much, much quicker than our competitors. Um, we're pushing the technology further and we're pushing it faster. Mm -hmm. And that's a benefit to all of us. All of us. <laughs> Absolutely. So what are TriQuint's top three strategic goals currently? Um, for us, it's about developing more products. We're trying to address a broader market, so we're going to have record years in product releases. That's first. I think second, it's a culture of zero defects. Our customers absolutely demand that, but it's also just great business for TriQuint. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least is, is really development of our team. We've got a world-class set of employees, and we want to continue to develop that team, and we also want to hire the best in the industry. Hmm. And what's on the horizon for TriQuint? Uh, growth. We're, we're in several high growth market areas uh, in the mobile communications, in optical fiber networks, and in our defense radar business. Uh, we believe we have the technology, the products, and the capacity in our factories to be able to uh, deal with that growth. Hmm. Well, it sure sounds like you're in high growth industries. That's obvious. Which of your products do you think are currently experiencing the most robust demand? And how are you positioning the company to take advantage of these growth opportunities? Um, it's in the mobile space today is our highest level of growth, and that's really amplifiers and filters uh, associated with LTE rollout. Um, we're able to address that with a broad portfolio of technologies, and especially in the filter area. We believe we have the industry's broadest set of filtering capability. Hmm. And those filters are really used in ever crowded space. Uh, they're allowing us to be able to operate uh, in the bandwidths that, that, that our customers need. Hmm. Now, what metrics do you find most meaningful in measuring your performance that investors should be sure to understand and evaluate? You know, typically our investors look at growth, revenue growth, they look at gross margins, and they look at earnings. Mm -hmm. um, for us, uh, it's R&D dollars. Our R&D dollars, we believe, are paying off with a next generation of great products. Um, we believe those products will create revenue growth and will help us with factory utilization. Hmm. Now, speaking of factories, is it true that your manufacturing is all done in the U.S.? Uh, yes, the vast majority. We really? have 2,500 employees in the United States. Um, located in Florida and Texas and Oregon. Um, and we also have employees worldwide, but uh, most of our manufacturing is done here in the United States, and we think that's unique. Huh. Does that mean that maybe you're too reliant on the U.S. economy for revenue, though? No, actually about 70% of our revenue is Asia and Europe. Oh. Uh, strong base in the U.S., but predominantly we're an international company. Um, and we have design centers and sales teams across the world to service those customers. But manufacturing here and manufacturing, exporting. Exporting, Love exporting 70%. Hmm. Where's the business headed? What do you think is the next big thing? Um, for most of our investments today are around gallium nitride. That's the next new semiconductor. We call it GAN. And what GAN really does for us, as I talked earlier about power amplifiers, mm -hmm. it allows us to develop a power amplifier that typically pulls about 20 or 30% less power 
so your cell phone could last longer. We'd like that. And it also has the potential to be about 80% smaller. So it allows our devices to, you know, to be in a much more crowded environment. Uh -huh. um, also to, to eventually lower the cost. Well, James, it's obviously a fascinating high growth time in your industry. Thank you for sharing the TriQuin story with us. It's fascinating. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching 21st Century Business. I'm Jackie Bales.